So you started streaming and you're playing a game super focused. Someone comes in and follows you and you miss it because you don't have alerts. Hi, I'm Q and welcome to another No BS OBS tutorial. Let's go. Alerts are ways to notify you and your stream about events that occur from your viewers. Whether it's follows, bits, subscriptions, donations, doesn't matter. They're great ways to recognize those people that support you. There are many ways to do this, but today we're gonna to make it easy by using either Stream Elements or Stream Labs. Both of these are free to use services that make it easy to get started. If you wanna make it easy, there are links to both services in the description below. Let's pop over to OBS to get you prepped. Now that we're inside OBS, we're gonna go down into the bottom over here by our scenes. We're gonna make a new scene for all of our alerts and things that we're gonna create in the future. Right click on this, click add on the scene, and we're gonna call this alerts. Once alert is created, we're gonna go down here to sources. We can either click the plus sign or right click Click on add, and then go over here to find our browser source. Name is whatever we want. We're gonna change this to be alerts. And we get this whole new window that pops up and asks for a URL and everything. Now that we've got our browser source figured out, let's pop over to Stream Elements and Streamlabs to get that URL. Step one, go to the service of your choice and click log in in the top right of the browser. For Stream Elements, once you're logged into your dashboard, you're gonna take your mouse and over here and move to where it says alert box. We're gonna click on it, and it's gonna bring us to this window where it says the alert box and we have this widget URL. What we're gonna to have to do is take this link that's hidden, click on it, and then we're gonna click copy. We're gonna come back here to OBS, go down to our alerts, right click, properties, click on URL, and copy that new URL in there. We're gonna go back to our website. We're gonna choose any of these little test options. Let's say, uh, let's do test follow for now. We're gonna click on it. And as you can see, we've got our follow right there, ready to go for us. For stream elements, this works a little bit differently. We're gonna go over here to streaming tools, click on overlays, and it'll be prompted to create a new overlay. Let's go ahead and do it. It'll ask you to choose the resolution. For now, we're gonna leave it at 1080p. We're gonna come over here to add widget, and we're gonna choose alerts and then alert box. Now all of our alerts are set up. Once that's done, we're gonna go up here to save. Click save. Let's name it alerts. And then we're gonna take this little chain here and copy the link. Once you click on it, it copies to your clipboard. You can see down in the bottom right there. If it works, we can go back to stream elements, emulate our, ho our follower, go back into OBS. It should be working right there. Now at the start of the video, I had you create a new scene and a new source for your alerts. The reason for that is because we wanna be lazy later on and we never wanna to have to touch this again. What we're gonna do is since we have this alerts made and we have the alert source in there, we don't wanna to try to copy it over to our gaming scene and our just chatting scene that we had made last time. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use something called a nested scene. A nested scene is just simply put a scene inside of another scene. The way we do that is we come over here to our gaming channel and let's add that new scene that we made for our alerts box. Click on the plus sign and then come down here to the scene category. Because what this is going to do, it's going to add another scene to this scene. As we can see, we're gonna add existing scenes. Here's our alerts, click on it. And we want our alerts to be on top of the list because that way our alerts still pop up. So let's go back to our browser, click on our test, let's emulate that and see if it pops up right here. Now that you've got your alerts set up, you'll never miss an event in your stream again. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time, bye.